With almost exactly a year to go before Brexit, what impact has the prospect had on London's financial centres? That's the question Reuters hopes to answer as it takes the pulse of six key indicators every quarter. And so far it's a case of Brexitus postponed. The number of finance jobs being moved overseas by March 2019 due to Brexit has actually fallen, dropping by a half compared to six months ago to 5,000. Echoing that, commercial property prices in the city are holding strong. Occupational confidence in terms of big businesses' positions in London, it's probably a longer term risk. We don't see the weight of um, concern about Brexit perhaps falling until after 2021, 2022, when businesses have been able to see what impact it's had on their businesses. Other numbers look weaker though. The amount of jobs available in London's financial services industry in 2017 fell the most in six years. No surprise then to find city stations going relatively quiet. The number of travellers using bank and monument stations fell by a fifth in 2017 compared to the previous year. The first time there's been an annual drop since the financial crisis. Neighbouring Canary Wharf down 10%. And there's similar turbulence for London City Airport, a popular gateway for finance executives. Here, passenger numbers fell for the first time since 2009. Need a drink after hearing that? Well, you might not be in luck. Reuters found the number of drinking venues in the city fell 1.6% in 2017. Only the second time it's dropped in the last decade. Now the hospitality industry wants to hear what Brexit will mean. I think eventually the outcome will be something we can live with. But um, not knowing is something we can't live with for very long. One perkier looking barometer though, real estate giant Savile says commercial property prices are now at their highest since the third quarter of 2016. So what does it all mean for the fortunes of Britain's key financial hubs? Well, there could be signs of a slowdown, but there's no indication of the slump many feared.